So as we look at the converter's job, it basically does a job of an alternator. It produces that 15 volts, 13 and a half volts, depending on the temperature of the battery, the 12 volt battery. It produces that voltage to maintain the battery level of the low voltage. They call it the auxiliary battery on most hybrids, the 12 volt battery, and also keep up with the 12 volt accessory demand. So the headlights and blower motor and heated back glass and all those kind of things require an alternator on a conventional vehicle. All hybrids have done away with the alternator. And only on a GM hybrid you see something that looks like an alternator. It's actually a three-phase AC motor generator. But other hybrids that aren't of the BAS micro-hybrid design that GM has used on some of their passenger cars and smaller SUVs, like the Toyotas, the Nissans, the Lexus, and so forth, all of those vehicles use no alternator-looking device. They use a DC to DC converter. In fact, even the micro hybrids I just mentioned with that device under the hood that resembles an alternator, it still uses a DC to DC converter. What's its job? Take the high voltage DC, as you see on the left of your screen from that high voltage battery pack, and drop it down to smooth, clean, consistent 14 volts, 14 and a half, 13, whatever that 12 volt battery needs due to temperature and charge rate. Basically, the DC to DC converter is the vehicle's alternator. There is no spinning mechanical alternator on a hybrid. Make sure you know that. So if the 12 volt battery is being discharged, not being recharged, you may have a hybrid warning indicator on and some P code. It'll be an issue with the DC to DC converter or associated wiring and components for that particular uh, device on the vehicle.